Very well said. And since we are talking about the capabilities for developers there, the fact is that there are limits of traditional serverless or container platform, especially at the edge. Now, with this uh, Fermion, Wasm Foss is paired with uh, Akamai's massive global footprint. What new capabilities will it open up, especially for real-time applications and emerging AI workloads that we cannot even fathom today? I think the there's sort of like an immediate and a longer term uh, answer to that. And the immediate one is one of the things we're we're very excited about is uh, is Akamai's launch earlier this year of the managed or late last year, I think, of the managed container services platform, which is actually a way to start deploying our applications through core regions all the way out to edge pops on into, you know, eventually 4,000 or more uh, different individual locations around the globe. So this enables a developer to deploy once and have an application distributed globally, right? Uh, and, and that's one of those exciting things that unlocks right away and that we'll start working on right away. And we're very excited about that. AI inferencing is another one where, uh, you know, to this point, there's always been sort of some ambiguity about how developers were gonna engage with AI, particularly on the inferencing side, to be able to build real world applications and to get past that sort of early paradigm where LLMs are used for chat, right? LLMs can be used for so much more. Uh, the ability to run those workloads on the edge optimize the the inferencing for that level of performance and then deliver very quick responses is going to unlock a new new class of edge applications looking longer term what's really exciting about using WebAssembly as a base technology is that it's so portable and so easy to break down into components that I think what we're going to see is a real emergence of a new style of writing applications that allows the application to sort of locate where it makes the most sense, right? How do we get this piece of code to execute very close to the database where there's all this data and this other piece of the application to execute as close to the user as possible and optimize the, the relationship between those two. And WebAssembly has this unique component model that's going to unlock that level of capability. And once we can run all of this inside of the Akamai network and again, take advantage of this, this wealth of services that are already there. I think we're going to open up the opportunity for developers to, to, to actually write a new class of, of edge native applications.